Hiya cats and kittens, welcome back to my channel and we are playing How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. Point Beep Solutions, Solutions, Point Bleep Studios. You are Nigel Wimble, hard hitting PBTV documentary filmmaker. You are at 23 Millberry Close to right Close Elos to finish filming the final episode of your award-winning series How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness: A Guide for the Isolated. You have come to talk with Harold Fletcher, a 43-year-old man who has been grounded to his bedroom for over 30 years. Since his mother Margaret only allows Harold visitation for 15 minutes a day, you only have enough time to talk about three topics. Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story, but not every story is relevant to Nigel's show. Confirm your selections, then watch the documentary unfold. You will, your show will be scored by a focus group at the end. Good luck. So, think about telescope, examine telescope, select telescope. Potential sound bomb. With an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. Oh, it's poetic. Look at that's weird. It's got murals, clocks, a fish tank. Go with these three things. He probably uses some wacky things. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. Isolation is no joke. It's not just boredom, it's lonely too. Nobody understands that more than the subject of tonight's episode of how to go through boredom and loneliness. The guys to be isolated. Never, never do you mean. Howard Fletcher has been grounded to his bedroom since 1986. That's over 30 years. His mother has offered us a rare glimpse into his life as prisoner and son. On your feet, Fletcher. Have a visitor. I hope to learn how Howard has coped with the boredom and loneliness. 30 years of isolation. With an isolated idiot, watching television is an escapism we all take for granted. My mother treated me to a modern television last year. She says if I'm good this year, she will allow me to keep the plug for an extra 10 minutes. But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? Tell the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. I told you not to smuggle food in here. Well, Kevin likes a snack when we watch the first 23 minutes of a movie. With an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. The Havard, he never forgets where his feet are, but still has sights on the stars. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. Sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and 
people at the bus stop are advancing Germans. They wouldn't stand a chance if it was a sniper rifle, let me tell you. Okay, okay. I take and cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would penetrate the bus shelter. Uh huh. It would be an absolute bloodbath. Harold. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds, and he is the captain. If Mother allows it, I will play you a new piece I've been working on, entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to come with boredom and loneliness. And I do remember. Good night. Join us next week as Burton investigates Jesus. Did he really have a beard? 9 p.m. Wednesday night on BB TV. All right. Ten out of ten for the guitar. Eight out of ten for the. Four out of ten. We're reshooting. Carefully choose three items of interest. Alright. So we didn't do this last time. It's the rabbit thing. Potential cell bright. Harold and his co prisoner, the overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together. But at least they had each other to ease the loneliness. That could have made you for the thinkers. Maybe. What's this? Potential cell bright. Be a poster. Potential sound bite. For some, movies are an escape from reality. The hound, his reality is like a movie. One of those terrible indie movies. Okay. Potential sound bite. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, that guy with no ears, and now Harold Fletcher. Dream Bongo. Guy with no ears. So I did TV this, this. I think I'm gonna go that. What's the truck about? Potential sound bite. A poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. Or sometimes life on the road means, I mean, when's daddy coming home? Well, that's gonna hit hard. What about the alarm clock? Potential sound bite. The herald, the watchful clock, has overtaken. In a way, time has been his only companion. Who has fucking adjusted the original? Potential sound bite. A sleep in his race car bed. I imagine how he dreams of driving off this road of isolation. What about Harold's mama? A curious man in a curious situation. Is this going to take long? 
even know you're the first visitor I've ever had. Um, let's see if this works. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. Tonight, Mario PBTV, we have the final part of Magic Windows Hard Hitting Doggy Series. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. In tonight's episode, Magic looks at a special case where the man has been grounded to his bedroom. We're on the 33 years. Hello, I'm Magic Windows. Well, Harold's always been a naughty boy. He's been quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that he's pissing on the cat. In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to discover what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness. For 32 years of isolation. Harold and his cohabitor, an overstuffed rabbit, had been through hell together, but at least had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that? Well, Kevin has needs and I have needs. Could you ever sew in that towel back on? We saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here, too. Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. As Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making of this documentary, you can lose hours to the peace and tranquility of a well-maintained aquarium. But like the fish, I will swimming in a sea of isolation. I sometimes look at the fish tank as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. And then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me, so I set it free. What did you do with the fish? Well, I took it to school to release into the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in my pocket. I noticed a poster for an old children's movie. For some, movies are an escape from reality. But I would, this reality is like a movie. A depressing TV movie, starring actors you haven't seen in 20 years. I do love getting lost in a good movie. I think Boris the KGB movie was the last time I did get lost in a movie. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behaviour. I remember it like yesterday.
I remember Boris used to say, Oh, behave, brother. Get it? Behave? It was awfully funny when Mother used to tell me to behave and I'd retort, Oh, behave, Mother. Do you remember that, Mother? Yes, I do remember, you cheeky little shit. Then Mother would put you over her knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? Have you seen the version on YouTube where the movie speeds up every time Boris kills a dissident? It becomes quite dizzying. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates video games. Is it more than just bang bang your mum's a fag? Now the end, Wednesday night, BBTV. Wow! A hard hitting stuff. Anyone know where I could order a rabbit like that? He, he murdered a fish yet? You put this man on television? 3 out of 10. I wish that mother would behave, touching stuff. Reshoot. So there's two 10 out of 10s. That means I want to find all 10 out of 10. Let's go. Point be Bleep Studios. Choose three items carefully. Let's get in. So we are going to go this, this, and this. How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. To not know your TV, TV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docu-series, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case that the man has been grounded to his body for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Well, Harold's always been a naughty boy. He's been quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that he's pissed on the cat. In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around, Harold, to discover what he uses to cope with the board and the loneliness. I don't know much about art, but I know all the greats had one thing in common, absent or awful mothers. Could Harold be a trapped artist? I created this piece when I was about nine years old. I had planned for an entire underwater scene, but only got as far as these fish before mother burst through the door screaming. I was so startled, I stumbled and fell from the shelf, causing myself a serious back injury. The broken bones eventually healed on their own, but my breathing can be quite wheezy. I'm quite sure I needed medical attention, but Mother said only good boys are allowed to access the ambulance service. And he's never drawn on the wall since. Because he can't. I've always hated Crab Clock. He'd always been there mocking me with his incessant ticking and talking. Did you know he's ticked roughly one billion sixty million six hundred and eighty thousand and one, two, three times since my incarceration? I didn't bother counting the tops. The poor car to a trip. Serves as a reminder of an absent father. But sometimes, life on the road means, Mommy, when's Daddy coming home? Harold's father has been absent for most of his life. Mostly owing to the fact that he's dead. He was involved in a massive collision, resulting in 52 deaths. Father made me this truck himself. He said he used to work on it while he was on long journeys. 
The police officer said he was whittling the last piece when his truck collided with the school bus. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and Liverpool life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates video games. Is it more than just bang bang with mums and dad? 9pm, Wednesday night. Be continue. Two out of ten, four out of ten, six out of ten. Great, another depression show on TV. Love them. Filmmakers, prison above the clock. Looking at blah 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 blah. I stopped my child from drawing on the wall by forcing her to smell an entire carton of crayons. Blah 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 blah. How many more options? Dun, dun, da, da, da. Let's get inside. I know I haven't chose this. I know I haven't chose this. Oh, papers. Duh. Skip all the way into the, uh, we're inside. Well, always been a naughty boy. He's been quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that he's pissed on the cat. In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to discover what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. Harold still sleeps in the plastic race car bed he slept in as a child. You can imagine Harold dreaming about driving away from this isolated childlike reality. Well, I always had a passion for race cars as a child. But I suppose that passion has since left me, unlike the bed. Though I can't complain, the springs merely provide moderate pain, and my feet dangle no more than 7 to 10 inches from the end of the mattress. Like Mother always says, as long as your head is above water, you can technically sleep anywhere. True. Because if your head's underwater, you drown. has always played prison warden from room to room. Margaret, do you worry about the harm this isolation may be causing, Harold? Oh, bolt this on himself. What about me? I've been isolated too. I haven't had sex since Harold's father died. No one would ever want to be stepfather to that little bastard. You should be making this documentary about me. I'm the one being punished. I'm so lonely, Mr. Wimble. Despite a screenplay Harold had been working on, a movie producer in the making, he suddenly wouldn't look out of place in Hollywood. He decided to read me some lines from his new screenplay called Black Planet and Tentacle of Temptation. That she ran a slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run away to Planet Vargon with me. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand once I show him how much I love you. He'll come here and kiss me. Oh, Brad. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly sticks his finger into her. Ooh. Hey. Okay. Thank you, Mom. He is a bloody space pervert. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates Jesus. Did he really have a beard? 9 p.m. Wednesday night for BBTV.
so 8 out of 10, 1 out of 10, and 10 out of 10 for the screenplay. Laugh so hard, I sh <laughs> Alert! Hot milfs in your area! Margaret sounds DTF! Down to give her my number. Well, Margaret, you got a number. So, let's go back, because I want a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. I think that's enough 10s. Maybe one extra. Point Bleep Studios, 10 out of 10. We choose you, you, and you. Shoot this documentary. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Isolation is no joke. It's not just boredom, it's lonely too. Nobody understands that more than the subject of tonight's episode of How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. Hello, I'm Nigel Winner. Harold Fletcher has been grounded to his bedroom since 1986. That's over 30 years. His mother has offered us a rare glimpse into his life as prisoner and son. On your feet, Fletcher. You have a visitor. I hope to learn how Harold has coped with the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. Harold and his co-habitor, an overstuffed rabbit, had no food held together, but at least had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that? Well, Kevin has needs and I have needs. I'm forever sewing that towel back on. We saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here too. Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. As Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making of this documentary. Music? can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Howard's vessel to unseen worlds. And he is the captain. If mother allows it, I will play you a new piece I've been working on, entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. Sing this song. Dive into my car. Burn me for a spot, Rose. Dun 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 dun. Yay! Despite a screenplay Harold had been working on, a movie producer in the making, he suddenly wouldn't look at a place in Hollywood. He decided to read me some lines from his new screenplay card, Brad Planet and the Tentacle of Temptation. She ran a slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run away to Planet Vargon with me. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand once I show him how much I love you. He'll come here and kiss me. Oh, Brad. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly sticks his finger into her goo. That will do, Harold. You're a bloody space pervert. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day we will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, we will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimbledon. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates Jesus. Did he really have a beard? 9 p.m. Wednesday night for Beauty TV. I wonder if he really did have a beard. One month.
Later, the following footage was uploaded to us from one of our missing cameras. Creepy. I mean, like the actual chords, is that bad? It's a nice little soft rock song. Fletcher. to make sure you're decent. Come in, Mother. You better not be touching Kevin up again. I'm really serenading him, Mother. What are you doing with that camera? Where did you get it? I found it, Mother. Mr. Wimble must have dropped it. I thought I'd use it to record a song for Kevin. You can play it back if you want to listen. No, I don't want to bloody listen to it. You stole that camera, didn't you? You thieving little puss. What else have you been recording? Mummy's secrets? We'll come back here looking for it, you know. You will come back here looking for it. I'm just going to get changed. Give me that camera. I'll make sure Mr. Wimble gets what he's looking for. You stay up here in your bedroom. Okay, Mother. Don't hurt him like the other men. Ten out of ten. Award winning. Focus group report. Wow. Excellent. Hard hitting stuff. Anyone know where I can order a rabbit like that? 10 out of 10. A new fan. Very poignant moment moment when he pulled out the guitar. 10 out of 10. John from Bishop's Wig. That screenplay sounded hot. When's part two coming out? 10 out of 10 from Alan or Alan from Wallowdale. Thank you guys. This uh, game is for free on Steam. I highly suggest checking it out. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.